Hey guys, so following my X5 unboxing video I did a while back, I've been asked to do a quick review. So here it is. <clears throat> this is the Pentax X5 bridge camera, uh, which is sort of halfway between a compact point and shoot and an SLR. Has a flat screen plus a viewfinder. Here on the bottom is the access hatch for the battery compartment four AA size batteries and the SD card slot. Seems like a well designed, well locking little hatch door. Controls are pretty much typical SLR type on off button. A toggle for telephoto and wide angle zoom settings with the shutter button in the center, exposure compensation button, and uh, various mode buttons or mode setting dial. That's the quick record for movie mode, uh, zoom button or zoom dial, display button, and the, the switching between the flat screen and the optical viewfinder. Play button, menu button, erase button, and the menu controls. There's a uh, focus knob for the viewfinder and uh, built in pop up flash. The screen does uh, pop out of the back of the camera and swivel up and down for different uh, viewing positions. And it does have the optical or the separate viewfinder, although it's not an optical viewfinder, it is uh, a tiny LCD screen. Lens cap and retainer strap comes with it does turn on and is ready to go quite quickly. I'll just uh, scroll through the various modes. The icons on the screen do change based on the mode that's selected. And there's quite a lot of information provided. The movie mode starts with an automatic clip length of 25 minutes and counts down. menu button accesses uh, at least four screens worth of settings so as you can see there's quite a lot of control available to you and many of the uh, modes do have additional selections like this is the the focus controls That's pretty much it. I picked this up uh, for $229 on sale. It uh, had just been released about a month before that. And uh, with uh, batteries, an extra card, case, taxes and shipping, I got this for less than $300. So I definitely think it's quite a good deal. It does take excellent pictures. It's very usable. Um, and it allows you as much control as you're interested in exerting on your photography efforts. It can be uh, as easy as a point and shoot or it can allow you to, to do some quite creative stuff. So I would highly recommend it. Talk to you guys later.